Good evening, and welcome to the news tonight at 6. The Education Minister has expressed hope that plans to return children to classes in Northern Ireland can be accelerated. Peter Weir visited a primary school in Belfast on Monday as thousands of P1-P3 pupils across the region returned to classes for the first time since December. Preschool and nursery children also returned. Under Stormont's phase plan for schools, the next pupils to resume face-to-face learning are secondary school pupils in key exam years, year groups 12 to 14, on 22 March. The P1-P3, nursery and preschool children are supposed to resume remote learning during that week to minimize the impact on community infection rates of the secondary school return. The Easter holidays begin the week after that, but no date has yet been confirmed for the return of the wider school population. Another news now. Dancing on Ice veteran Matt Evers told new skating partner Faye Brooks she needs to turn on the charm offensive if she's to have any hope of winning the ITV show. Show favorite Matt, 44, informed the ex-Coronation Street actress, 33, her obvious desire to win will put off the public if she makes it to next week's final. And finally, Britain's royal family is grappling with a crisis that has rocked the institution after the sensational television interview by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, in which the couple said they encountered racist attitudes and a lack of support that drove the Duchess to thoughts of suicide. In a new clip, Aired this morning by CBS in the U.S., Prince Harry emphasizes that racism was, a large part, of the reason he and Meghan left Britain. Oprah Winfrey has also revealed it was not the Queen or Prince Philip who raised, concerns, about how dark the Sussex's unborn child's skin would be after the bombshell allegation was made by Meghan during the interview. That's is it for now, we're back with the latest update just before 10.30, until then, have a very good evening, go fuck yourself.